guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. After a very long day at work, I came home to a box on my door. And it's a box from my friend Kirby at Vintage Chic Scents. She had a restock on the last weekend of October. Oh, Halloween. Right? This was Halloween. Yeah, this was her Halloween restock. And she did a bunch of shaving cream scents. And you know, if you know me, I love myself some shaving cream blends. So I picked up two of all the shaving cream scents that were offered. Some loafs, some poinsettias, some leaves, a whole sampling of good wax. So without further ado, let's get into it. Kirby always sends a free scent shot with every order, and mine is in Craven, which is warm spices, sugared apples, and vanilla ice cream. And I have this also in a leaf pack, and it really is, it's that quintessential, like, Michael's Craft Store set, but a little bit sweeter. And that's from the vanilla ice cream. Has a really nice sweetness blended with it. Really like this. I'll hang on to it for next fall. Now, the first scent that I got, or actually the only leaves that I got, and it is a shaving cream blend, so I did pick up two. And this is in Johanna. Now, if you know me... My favorite scent of all time from Vintage Chic Scents. Did you say Sweeney's Barbershop? I know you did, because it's my favorite scent. And she has a bunch of scents under the Sweeney's Barbershop umbrella, which Sweeney's Barbershop is Strawberry Mint Shaving Cream. At least, I think that's the description on the website. Sometimes the descriptions on the websites and the descriptions on the labels are different, so I just wanted to make sure. Anyway, so... What I got was Johanna. I got two leaf packs in those. And this is fresh strawberries blended with rosemary mint shaving cream. So it's essentially Sweeney's Barbershop mixed with rosemary mint. I'm immediately greeted with my favorite, my Sweeney's Barbershop, that minty shaving cream and that fresh strawberry. And the rosemary adds just a hint of herbalness really clean, really fresh. It's so similar though to Sweeney's Barbershop, I almost say, if she offers Johanna and not Sweeney's and you haven't tried Sweeney's and you really want to because I said it's amazing, try Johanna, because they are very similar. The rosemary mint just makes it slightly more fresh, but it's beautiful. Under the same umbrella of Sweeney's, we have Mrs. Lovett's Pie Shop. And Mrs. Lovett's Pie Shop is blueberry mint shaving cream. So replacing the strawberry with blueberry, and this color is like beyond vibrant. Now what I, what I think is so unique about Sweeney's is when you add the strawberry to it, it's like the mint and the shaving cream make the strawberry smell so much more realistic where it's just like a hint, an essence. These are almost like the LaCroix of wax because I feel like with Sweeney's, it's just like a hint of the strawberry and it makes it smell fresh. Same with the blueberry mint shaving cream. It's definitely mint shaving cream heavy, but the blueberry just adds a hint of fruitiness and sweetness. And like plump, juicy blueberries. You know the blueberries that you get at the grocery store that are literally flavorless? This is like a true, juicy, hard, hard, like juicy, squeezable, squeezable, you know what I mean. Beautiful, juicy strawberry. And then, changing gears a little bit to film bars, because it's also in the Sweeney's category. These are her film bars, they're beautiful. Every time I see these, I think of Danny because she said they're like mini loaves, and they really are, they're so cute. You can easily get four melts out of them. And this is Pirelli's Miracle Elixir. So this is Juicy Strawberries Watermelon Mint Shaving Cream. So Sweeney's with watermelon. Now I will say, the watermelon in this scent is a little candy-like, a little Jolly Rancher-esque, but watermelon is so hard to duplicate in wax to get true to life, because to me, watermelon really doesn't have much of a smell. It's like watery. So, blended with the strawberry mint shaving cream, just like a hint 
of Summer in there with that one on. These were poured on October 27th, so definitely by the summer. These will be so good. And that is when I will crave this scent so much because in the summer, that watermelon is just so bright and fresh that when it's 150 degrees and I'm like hating life, popping that in my warmers and coming home, it's so fresh. It's, it's refreshing for the bedroom. It's clean for the bathroom. It's heaven. Now, continuing on with the shaving creams, I have two poinsettias in the Santa Claus. Now, this is not uh, strawberry mint shaving cream from Sweeney's. This is still shaving cream, but it's frosted cranberry shaving cream and peppermints. Now, I love all things shaving cream. Ah, oh, this is so cool. The cranberry makes it, like, iced. So... Picture like a frozen cranberry drink, like a frozen cranberry cocktail. It's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Even though shaving cream is more fresh, I almost feel, my cats. I almost feel like the shaving cream, the freshness adds almost like a coolness to me. This smells like a Christmas cranberry cocktail. I'm sticking with it. That's what it smells like. A Christmas cranberry cocktail. Oh, next is Elf Judy. Elf Judy is Palo Santo, Warm Vanilla Sugar, and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. I believe this is also one that Danny really likes. So I'm immediately, immediately greeted with Palo Santo. That masculine, fresh, woody... At this point, if you watch my channel, you know I'm a Palo Santo addict. And you pick up on the... Literally, this is like 33, 33, 33. You can smell them all. Warm vanilla sugar. That perfumey, slightly body care-esque fragrance. And then the cupcakes at Tiffany's. That buttery yellow cake. Super moist. Chocolate icing and toffee bits. If you're not a bakery lover, and you're even like a fresh lover, the Palo Santo is so prominent in this, I think you would really like it. I really like it. Next we have Winchell's. Now I got this because of the collectible lunchbox, which is raspberry jam, peanut butter, and zucchini bread. So this is raspberry jam filled powdered donuts. I did not pick up the powdered donuts oil last time. I am getting it this time. Oh my god, okay. It's almost like, and I've talked about this a lot in my videos, that sometimes when you add a scent, it amplifies the other. And I feel like the raspberry jam makes the powdered donut oil more prominent. Oh, which is so amazing, because the powdered donut is truly like a box of Hostess powdered sugar donuts. Stop it. My cats are going crazy. Yeah, it's almost like the powdered donuts is amplified by the raspberry jam because you get that like gelatinous gooey sweet savory raspberry jam oh, and the powdered donut oil heaven it is no collectible lunchbox that's still my favorite but it's good i smell snow I bought this because it's a Gilmore Girls reference, and if you love Gilmore Girls like I do, you know that Lorelai, anytime it snowed in Stars Hollow, she always said, I smell snow. I smell snow. Fresh falling snow with a hint of sweet laundry, which is interesting. This is nice. Okay, to me it just smells like sweet laundry. I'm not really sure what fresh sparkling or fresh falling snow smells like, but it smells just like a really creamy sweet laundry. Oh, that makes me happy. This is like, you know, I feel like this you could melt all year. I definitely pick up on laundry, just like a light sweet laundry, like she said, like really like a baby's laundry almost. That's yummy. Let's do some coins. All right, Miss Catherine King, my favorite shape are these four pack of coins, and this is one of Catherine's favorite scents, Martha and Snoop. Zucchini bread, vanilla butter fudge, cupcakes at Tiffany's, and brown sugar. Yum. 
Oh. My. God. This is edible. This is edible. You definitely pick up on the zucchini bread. But this is like a zucchini bread that has butter and brown sugar melted, mixed together, and just coated on the top of it. If you like buttery, if you like ooey gooey, if you like rich bakery, that is your scent. Oh my god, I need more of that. Wow. Yeah, that butter and brown sugar combo mixed with the zucchini bread. I, I'm doing that a lot now. I'm all about the chef's kiss. Next we have Kenosha Kickers Cider Lane. I think that's how you pronounce it. Honey Pear Cider and Cider Lane. You know Cider Lane is my kryptonite. Honey Pear Cider was a Scentsy scent that's been discontinued. Huh. All I'm smelling is Honey Pear Cider. Maybe a little bit of Cider Lane, but a very small amount. Like maybe like 10% Cider Lane, 90% Honey Pear Cider. And Honey Pear Cider is exactly that. You get the mauling spices like the cinnamon, the nutmeg, the clove, the ginger. Mixed with these glazed pears. So not apples, pears. That is yummy. Perfect for fall. And then we have Palo Santo Bakery. And this is buttery vanilla, fresh rolled dough, gooey butter, gooey batter, Palo Santo, sugar almonds. Just like you walked into a bakery. I love Palo Santo, so... Huh. All right, so this this sounds so cliche. It just smells like a bakery Palo Santo. Like, I know that's what it says, but like, you pick up on Palo Santo 100%. But you do get like a sugared almond, like, cakey scent with it. Oh. If you could eat Palo Santo, I wonder what it would taste like. Like this smells really yummy. I just, Vintage Chic Scents is like one of my favorite vendors. Like, I just can't get enough of it. It's, everything she does is heaven. And you know what I have to say about her? God, that's good. So this is the last shaving cream blend. And this is, God, that's good. And this sold out lickety split. I cannot believe I got my hands on it. Fresh blackberries blended with rosemary mint shaving cream. God, that's good. <laughs> Again, you smell that Sweeney's Barbershop a little bit, but it's tart. You definitely detect the blackberry. Now, this is freshly poured October 27th, so it hasn't. it's only been about a week. So I'm sure it's going to develop some more, and when it does, I think that blackberry will come out more. Oh, my God, that's good. <laughs> I keep saying that, and like... But it is, oh, the tartness of the blackberry blended with the freshness of the mint and the shaving cream. Perfection. There really isn't anything in this order I hate, and it's not sponsored. I pay for this all myself, I promise. You can look at my invoice. I pay for it all myself. I just love her. I just love her wax. I got a loaf in As Above, So Below, and this is literally Smooth Palo Santo. And I wanted this... Because I just love Palo Santo, and I haven't tried hers on its own yet. Yes, it's just Palo Santo. And to me, Kirby's Palo Santo comes across more masculine. It's definitely more masculine, cologne-esque, but it is rich Palo Santo. Because I know a lot of vendors do Palo Santo, which is the Bath and Body Works type, which is a blend of Palo Santo and other things. Still amazing. But this is just fresh Palo Santo. And I know that I can blend this with things. That's why I got it. And I can make my own Palo Santo heaven. And I already know an idea that I want to blend with. Which is this guy right here. Peanut butter jar. Smooth, creamy peanut butter. Nothing more, nothing less. A whole bar of just peanut butter. 
Oh my god. Okay. This is very similar to the Michael Myers favorite treat. Whereas it smells like a peanut butter cookie. Even though this is just the peanut butter oil, I definitely smell like a peanut butter cookie. I'm not hating. I love it. That's nice. And Kirby, please blend Palo Santo and peanut butter in something. I just think Palo Santo peanut butter would be like heaven on earth. I mean, I guess I could try it, but I want to let these cure for a while before. Heaven. You guys, this was a quicker video because I literally just talked about how much I love VCS and all the things that I love, because I do. Shaving cream, Palo Santo, peanut butter. I mean, that's Drew in a nutshell. Palo Santo, peanut butter, shaving cream. I love it. I love it all. So, let me know if you've tried anything from this VCS restock. I know a lot of you placed orders, and if you didn't, Angela, I'm looking at you. She's having a restock on Sunday. She is restocking every Sunday the entire month of November. So make sure you join Kirby on Facebook at Vintage Chic Sense in her Facebook group. I'll link that down below. Please hit the notification bell down below so that way you're alerted every time I upload on this channel. I'll talk to you guys soon. Make it a better world and be kind. Bye.